Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting equation x squared minus x cubed equal to 12. How can you solve this? First of all, let's bring this 12 on the left. So we will have x squared minus x cubed minus 12 equal to 0. Let's change an order a little bit. So we will have minus x cubed plus x squared minus 12 equal to zero and the last step let's multiply on both sides by minus one because we have minus right here we don't need it and then we will have a classic cube equation so we will have x cube minus x square plus 12 equal to zero and this is our cube equation how can you solve this? Of course we can find the factors of this 12, but this is so long as for me. I want to suggest you a, a little quick, quick trick right here, because we have x cubed and x squared, and this 12 can be written as 8 plus 4. So let's write this 12 as 8 plus 4 equal to 0, and this x cubed minus x squared. So, what are we going to do next? Of course, this 8 can be written as 2 cube, and this 4 can be written as 2 square. So we can group this. We can group this x cube and this 2 cube, and this x square with this 2 square. So I write this 8 as 2 cube, and this 4 as 2 square, equal to 0. We will have x cube minus x square. Okay, what are we going to do next? Of course, let's group our x cube and 2 cube and x square and 2 square. So we will have x cube plus 2 cube and of course in our case we will have minus x square plus 2 square equal to 0 x cube plus 2 cube, the sum of cubes, let's write a formula, we will have a cube plus b cube, it will be equal to a plus b, and in second parenthesis we will have a square minus a b and plus b square. And let's use our formula right here. So we will have, we will have the next thing, we will have x plus 2, And in second parentheses we will have x square minus 2x and plus 4. Just use the formula the sum of cubes. And let's take a look right here. We put minus and then we will have parentheses x square minus 2 square. And of course we can split it into an identity. We can write this as minus x minus 2 and x plus 2 equal to 0. And a really good case right now, because we have x plus 2 and x plus 2 right here. We can factor out it at, as a common, so we will have x plus 2. And in parentheses we will have the next thing, we will have this parentheses, x square minus 2x plus 4. And this thing we will have right here, minus x plus 2. I just open parentheses, minus x plus equal to 0. Right here we can write of course our parentheses, but I wanted to skip this step. I open these parentheses right now. So, interesting case, because we will have parentheses times parentheses equal to 0. Of course, the first root is obvious, x plus 2 equal to 0, and let's find our roots, x plus 2 equal to 0, so x equal to minus 2. And this will be our x first. This will be our root in real numbers. Let's take a look right here. We will have quadratic equation x square minus 2x minus x. It will be minus 3x and plus 6. Let's leave this. Right here we'll have two roots. Of course, this equation have no more than three roots. So we find first root and let's find these roots. a equal to 1 b equal to minus 3 and c equal to 6. Let's find our x, x2 and x3. So x2 and 3 
equal to minus b 3 plus minus let's find our square root so we will have b square minus 4ac so we will have our 9 minus 24 it will be minus 15 over to a over 2. Let's start to simplify this a little bit. We can write the square root of minus 15 as square root of minus 1 times square root of 15. So it will be equal to 3 plus minus square root of minus 1 times square root of 15 over all over 2. And the last step we know that square root of minus 1 equal to e in complex theory. So square root of minus 1 equal to e. And we just write this e right here and dividing this 3 by 2 and this by 2. Just simplify this a little bit. So we will have 3 over 2 plus minus e square root of 15 over 2. And this will be our second and third root. So, one root in real numbers and two roots in complex number. So, this will be our second and third root. And this will be our first root in real numbers. If you agree with this method, if you disagree, maybe you have a faster method how to solve this. Write your suggestion in comment, write your question in comment, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, subscribing, putting thumbs up, and see you in the next videos.